Hello, so this is going to be a really easy and quick lesson on how you can use matrices to find the area. So for example, we talk about the Bermuda Triangle and we have three islands and maybe we're trying to find the distance between those three islands, which makes a triangle. Um, and maybe we're looking at the area that a ship could get lost within the Bermuda Triangle. So to find the area, we can actually use matrices. But before we do that, you need to know what a determinant is. So go ahead and fill in your date, whatever your day is. Um, I am recording this on 1020. And a determinant is a really simple formula. All you have to do is you take the diagonal and you multiply it you subtract and you take this diagonal and multiply it so for example if this is a b c d the formula is going to be a times d subtract and then you would do b times c so looking at the determinant how you know it's a determinant is you're gonna see these straight lines. Those lines do not mean absolute value, they mean determinant. So looking here, negative two times six is negative 12, subtract, and then negative three times four is also negative 12. When we add those together, this one, the determinant, is actually zero. Okay, looking at the determinant, on example one, and I have seen these on the ACT, by the way, so, but the ACT will usually give you the formula. All right, so how do you find the determinant of a three by three? This is three rows by three columns. So the first thing you do is you take the first two columns and you recopy them. So that's what you do first. Then you're going to start in the upper left hand corner and you're going to multiply these diagonals together so if we take this first diagonal it's 4 times 1 times 11 is 44 and then you're going to add the next diagonal so 2 times 0 times negative 2 is 0 and then the last diagonal is negative 3 times 5 times 1 is negative 15. Then you take the bottom and you draw three more diagonals. We're going to, just like we did up here, we multiply this diagonal and then we multiply this one. So same thing, we're going to multiply these diagonals together, and just like we did up above, we're going to subtract. So I'm going to put subtract, and then you're going to multiply negative 3 times 1 times negative 2, which is 6, and then you've got plus um, 4 times 0 times 1 is 4, no, is 0, plus 2 times 5 times 11 um, is 10 times 11, which is 110. All right, so now all you have to do is add this part together. So that gives us 29, and it's subtract the entire thing. So make sure that you use parentheses here, add these together, and then subtract. So 6 plus 0 plus 110 is subtract 116. And therefore, the determinant is going to be negative 87. All right, looking at example 2. And if you want, just stop this video, try example 2, and then see if you got it right. So I'm going to start by recopying the first two rows. And then you start in the upper left and you have three diagonals. One, two, three. That zero's in that diagonal. 
Okay, then you multiply the diagonals together. So 0 times negative 1 times um, 1 is 0, plus 2 times 2 is 4, times 4 is 16. And then 1 times 3 times 0 happens to be 0. Subtract, and now you start at the bottom corner, and you draw three diagonals. And then you're going to multiply those three diagonals together. 1 times negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. 0 times 2 times 0 is 0. And 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. Okay, we're going to simplify those. So 16 plus 0 gives me 16. Subtract. Negative 4 plus 6 is 2. And my determinant is 4. So now the whole reason why we would want to find a determinant to begin with is we want to find the area of a triangle. Um, we learned that a right triangle has an area of one half base times height. This triangle might not be right. So here is the formula. You're going to take the three vertices of the triangle. So First vertice, x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. And then you're going to form the last column of your matrix with ones. All right, you find the determinant. You take half of it, and then you just make sure that it's positive. So the plus or minus, if your determinant was negative, then multiply it by the negative one half. If your determinant is positive, then multiply it by the positive one half because area is always positive. All right, so here is a triangle. And if you were to graph this triangle, you have a point at negative one up two. You have a point at right three and down four. And you have a point at zero, six. And so if I were to draw, and this is just a really quick sketch, but here's my triangle, and I want to know the area. So to find the area, I'm going to use the determinant. So the determinant is going to be, first off, you're going to put plus or minus a half out front, and then the determinant is you use x, y, x, y, x, y. So negative 1, 2, and then 3, negative 4, and then 0, 6, and your last column is going to be 1. So you want a 3 by 3 determinant. So now what you do is just what we did here and here is you recopy the, um, so recopy the first two columns. So you have negative 1, 3, 0, and 2, negative 4, and 6. All right, we start in the upper left-hand corner, and we draw three diagonals. We're going to multiply those diagonals together. Negative 1 times negative 4 times 1 is 4. 2 times 1 times 0 is 0, and 1 times 3 times 6 is 18. Subtract. And then we're going to start at the bottom corner, and we have three diagonals. So the first diagonal here is 1 times negative 4 times 0 is 0. Negative 1 times 1 times 6 is negative 6. And 2 times 3 is 6 times 1 is 6. All right, so now what we're going to do is figure out what this is. So 18 plus 4 is 22. And so I've got 22 plus 0, which is, or 22, yeah, this is 0. So 22 subtract 0 is 22. So this is going to equal, I'm out of room, 22. And you still have to multiply it by the 1 half. So basically, you're going to cut the 1 half. You're going to take the 22 and cut it in half. Um, and you're going to use the positive. So multiply this by a half. And that gives me 11. So therefore, 
the area in square units of this triangle is 11 square units. And this is how we use determinant to find the area.